Just call on me What's up everybody, Trip with Pack Health here coming at you once again with our next vlog. Once upon a time, when I was 16 years old, I went to a party. And at that party was one of my favorite things in the world, pizza. And I probably put away about eight pieces of it that night, and then I woke up the next morning and immediately knew something was wrong. Something was up with that pizza. Something either was prepared badly or it was uh, it was kept out for too long or something like that. And I got what is known as a foodborne illness. And that's what we're talking about today. Food safety. What can you do to your food to preserve it, to prepare it, and everything in between to keep you from getting sick from the stuff that you eat? We're going to run around the office and talk to everybody about their individual ideas of well, what they do to make sure that the food that they put in their body isn't going to be something they regret within 12 hours later. If you're getting the right nutrition, you want to make sure that you're also getting healthy nutrition. So okay. if you're eating good food, but it's not prepared properly, you're going to get sick. Like what? Any examples? So say you're cooking vegetables and chicken together. You don't want to cut your chicken with the same knife that you're cutting the vegetables okay. because then you have cross-contamination. Okay. Well, I've had food poisoning several times. Uh, you know, I like to cook. You don't have to go into details. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I like to cook at home and sometimes I'm not always safe and that's what happens when you're not safe. Oh, geez. Making sure that you're properly storing your food. Um, to reduce spoilage, making sure that you don't make yourself sick. To keep bacteria from growing. To keep bacteria from growing cool. so we don't have an outbreak, right? <laughs> Produce goes back quickly. How long do you have for uh, that stuff to, to um, stay fresh? You literally have about maybe generously three to four days. Well, first thing that comes to mind is, you know, not getting food poisoning. Okay. So, <laughs> that's, um, a that's a pretty big part of it. So yes, yes. what do you do to ensure the safety of your food? Preservation, preparation, anything in between? Yeah. Well, I wash everything, like my veggies, of course, before I use them. Um, I Why? Keep... Why? Yeah. I just think of all the hands it might pass through, all the places it might go. You know, who knows? Something could have happened to the truck driver. He could have left it in the back of his uh, truck. You know, you just never know. And now I'm terrified to ever touch vegetables. I have been in the restaurant business for a long time. Still am, actually. And so we have to do the food handlers, like safety nutrition cards or oh, cool. certifications. You know, you learn about the temperature that the water needs to be when you wash stuff, um, proper temperatures for freezing, refrigerating, um, washing your hands, okay. all of that stuff. What do you do around the house or in the kitchen to make sure your food doesn't spoil or doesn't come in contact with anything that could spoil it? Keep it in the refrigerator. Keep it in the refrigerator. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Wash your utensils that you're using. Making sure the area utensils. You, okay. Making sure the area that you prepare your food okay. is sanitized and clean. Um, prepare meats in the same place, not the same place as you prepare your like to cut your fruits or vegetables or your salads and okay. things like that. That's good. Also, be aware of any salmonella outbreaks that could be um, out recently. Like on vegetables or food or meat. Sometimes they're on vegetables. Like right now, I think it's a salmonella outbreak on cereals. What? Um, that I saw on TV. Not cereal. It's, yeah. That's my favorite. If you do hear that something you're eating might have a salmonella outbreak, you can usually call um, the hotline to find out if your particular batch okay. was infected. Very cool. Um, I always just throw mine out anyway, just Very. to be safe. All right, guys, so ends yet another vlog. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to your health advisor. That's what they're there for. Click in the notes below to find some more helpful resources that tie in with the theme of this vlog and follow us on social media. We will see you guys next time. Just call on me.